Hello lovelies. Um, I know it's been so long since I've been live in this group. I hope you're all doing well and I know that I've been talking a little bit more about minerals and stuff. Well, basically they're the spark plugs of life. They're the building blocks of everything. They're the foundations of our of ourselves, of our being. We are carbon-based structures essentially, which is a mineral. So I've been delving a lot more into this, hence the reason I'm talking about the hair tissue mineral analysis and the reasons behind that and, and so on and why it's uh, much better to use it than uh, a blood test. So like a blood test is a, a homeostatic tissue, so it's always trying to get itself in balance. It's a snapshot in time, whereas the hair test itself will actually give us a picture of the last three to four months, depending on how, how fast the, the hair grows. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about calcium today. So calcium, we know, is stored in the bones and the teeth. In fact, almost 99% is stored in the bones and the teeth. So if you do go and have a blood test and they test for calcium levels in the blood serum, they're only going to find 1% anyway. So it doesn't really make sense to test that. It makes sense to test it at a cellular level, which is why we do the hair tissue mineral analysis. And it's involved in every single cell in your body. So in every cell in your body, you have voltage gated calcium channels. And we know that basic science from school, if we look at um, uh, gases and solids and liquids, they always move from a high to a low concentration. So this is how ions work in the body. And um, within your, your cell walls, um, of every single cell in the body, you have calcium channels and they need... They need uh, to have the right concentrations of minerals, so things like potassium and sodium and magnesium and so on, in order to have these channels open so that ions can essentially flow through and create energy. So they're like a biological messenger, if you, if you like. Um, calcium is involved in so many functions within the body, it's, it's unreal. And I'm not trying to give you a science lesson here, but sometimes we can have calcium excess in, in the body, believe it or not. And this basically means that the calcium is not where it's supposed to be. So it's not in the bones and it's not in the teeth where 99% of it should be. It's actually going into the tissues. So these can be our soft tissues like muscles or joints and um, or organs or anything that, that's not bone and teeth. And some of the symptoms that we experience are calcification, so we can get bone spurs and things like that, so things hardening up, um, joint pain, muscular aches and pains, um, and lots of other kind of things, which I'll come on to in a second. But calcium is um, it's one of those things that the body, if it needs it, it will leach it from the bones and the teeth, so it will, it will, it will give it up essentially. Now, it doesn't always do this when we need it to be done. It does this when other things are going a little bit awry in the body. So, for instance, if we have really high estrogen levels as women. So for those of you that are taking contraceptives or um, have the copper IUD or um, uh, HRT, um, anything that's hormone related will increase your estrogen levels and naturally as women we have higher estrogen so this can increase calcium retention but again not in the places where we need it so calcium is regulated by your parathyroid gland and also by your kidneys and by insulin secretion so if we have a diet that's really really high in um, sugars and so on we have lots of insulin release that can also cause calcium to be stored elsewhere rather than where we need it and believe it or not, calcium leaching is a major contributor to osteoporosis. So you could go and have a blood test done and they could measure your calcium serum levels and it would be fine. But actually you could be osteoporotic because the calcium is not where it needs to be in the bones and the teeth. So we have what we call mineral synergists and mineral antagonists. So a synergist is something that supports and increases the levels and absorption in the body. And an antagonist is something that either can competitively competes or selectively competes or can block um, in certain circumstances that mineral. So I'm just going to look at my notes here. So our synergists are for calcium, vitamin A, D and C. So vitamin A and D, we need um, access to sunlight for that. So for vitamin D, it's all about getting out in the sun. For vitamin A, beef is a really great contributor um, for that. And it's um, 
something that we can only get from animal products. I'm not here to argue the toss with vegetarians. Beta carotene is not the same thing. The body doesn't deal with it in the same way. And vitamin C, um, whole food vitamin C is absolutely fantastic. So all, all your fruits and stuff that have the whole food vitamin C in them. Um, but also if you need it, you can um, use ascorbic acid. I don't like to use that so much, but in some circumstances, it's really necessary. Um, we also need magnesium supplements. Um, I'll do a, a, another live on magnesium, but just be careful because some of them can um, really aggravate the tummy and cause diarrhea, which is not so pleasant. And also they're not as bioavailable, so the body can't use them so well. Um, we also have copper. So when your calcium levels go up, it can be to do with copper toxicity. So I just did a post on, on copper or it can be to do with estrogen and they all kind of work together in, in, in that realm. Um, it can also be to do with low hydrochloric acid levels in the stomach. So if you have symptoms like heartburn or gastric reflux or if you eat a lot of protein and you don't feel that your body's digesting it well, it feels a bit heavy so it's in your stomach, that can be to do with low stomach acids and that is um, uh, that, can, that can be from low levels of calcium. Um, and also dietary protein, so making sure you're getting some protein into your body. And the antagonists, so things that we don't necessarily think of, we have toxic heavy metals and also other minerals that are um, antagonists, so they, they compete. So when, when things are in balance in the body, some of these will be synergists. When things are out of balance in the body, so if our calcium levels are too high, for instance, they become antagonists and they'll compete for, for the calcium receptor sites. So this can, can again cause calcium to be in the wrong places, so not in the bones or the teeth. So um, we have lead, zinc, magnesium, iron, manganese, sodium, potassium, cadmium. So we think batteries, um, B2, vitamin A and B6. Now, how does it feel if you have a calcium deficiency? OK, so histamine allergies are massively related to calcium deficiency. So anything like hay fever can be to do with um, a calcium deficiency. I'm not saying it is. It can be. Um, things like high blood pressure, because calcium is balanced out by other minerals, um, essentially magnesium. So magnesium is the, the heart mineral. Um, type 1 insomnia, so you have trouble falling asleep but not staying asleep. And adrenal hyperactivity, so anybody with hyperactivity can be low calcium. Not saying it is, but it can be. Um, symptoms if you're in excess can be excessive thirst or memory issues, uh, muscle aches, having a low mood, Hearing issues, constipation and kidney stones is always to do with an excess of calcium. Now, what calcium does when it's in excess in the body is it lowers the pH, so you become more acidic. And the body doesn't function in so well in that environment, so things start to slow down, become a little bit stagnant, and we start to manifest things like symptoms, dysfunction and disease in the body. So... This is just a whistle-stop store of calcium. If you have any questions at all after watching this, then please do um, pop them in the comments below. If you found this useful at all, or you've gained something from it, then please give me some hearts and likes. So thank you very much. I'll be back over the next couple of days and weeks with some more um, details about minerals. So bye for now.